With over 33,000 locations worldwide and a brand name worth more than $13 billion, Starbucks stands far above even its closest competitors. However, in 1971, when the company was founded in Seattle, Washington, fresh roasted coffee beans and espresso-based drinks were a niche specialty product with an uncertain future. So how did Starbucks beat everyone to become the biggest coffee chain in the world and what makes it so unique even today? If you're curious about how Starbucks has achieved that success, let's explore its effective marketing strategies in today's video through which it has beaten all its competitors. Launched in 1971 in the city of Seattle, the brand has transformed the way the world drinks coffee outside home and work. Starbucks has taken responsibility for generating the concept of the third place between home and work where people can rewind, savor a cup of coffee, and contemplate the inviting ambiance. The global growth of Starbucks has been swift and strategic. It launched its first international store in Tokyo in 1996, stepped into the UK in 1998, and ran its first Latin American store in Mexico City in 2002. Starbucks stores covered the whole of Russia in 2007 and launched its first store in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam in 2013. In February 2014, it went to Brunei, the 15th market in the Asia-Pacific region and the 64th market internationally for the brand. In 2015, it started stores in Panama and achieved the milestone of getting 99% of ethically sourced coffee. The brand owns more than 33,000 stores in 80 different countries globally as of September 2022 and is anticipated to sustain robust growth momentum. On 3rd April 2017, Kevin Johnson took over the leadership baton from Starbucks's former CEO, Howard Schultz. Kevin Johnson served the company in its board of directors from 2009 and has become the COO of Starbucks since 2015. As Kevin Johnson was a CEO, the company has triumphantly implemented its strategic plans, including innovation in coffee, advanced food options, and innovation in premium craft iced teas. So, how did it come to this? What is this infamous Starbucks marketing mix? Sit back as we're going to walk you through Starbucks' 5 P's of marketing. The 5 P's include price, place, promotion, people, and physical environment. Number 1. Prices of Starbucks There are a variety of pricing strategies available to organizations. Some of the most popular ones include premium, loss leader, cost plus, and going rate. Starbucks decided to follow a pricing premium strategy. As mentioned earlier, the brand is well known for its richly brewed coffee and a collection of premium teas. A lot of customers believe that quality products are accompanied by a high price. Starbucks has capitalized on this perception and defined premium pricing as the company's pricing strategy. Number 2. Places of Starbucks Starbucks offers most of its products via its coffee shops. The brand has launched Starbucks On The Go, which is a premium self-serve beverage solution, bringing a list of great delicious hot drinks. It has also built some apps, like Starbucks app for Android, iPhone, and Windows for busy buyers who want to enter select stores and pick up their coffee right away. Number 3. Promotions of Starbucks The company takes advantage of numerous promotional strategies to communicate with its stakeholders. For instance, it invested $248.6 million in advertising in 2016, and its ad investment in the fiscal year ending in September 2020 was about $258.8 million. Starbucks designs a customer loyalty scheme called Starbucks Rewards. As members, customers can get two stars for every dollar spent in stores and online. If they can collect 125 stars, they can get a reward that is redeemable for a drink or food product. Number 4. People of Starbucks Starbucks already owns a diverse workforce. It plans to employ about 240,000 more staff worldwide by 2021. It is an equal chance employer and attempts to build a massive workforce. The company is also famous for its huge spending on employee training and development. Last but not least, number 5. Physical Environment of Starbucks Starbucks' physical environment not only includes its store designs, coffee cups, logo and napkins, but the brand also creates an inviting and comfortable atmosphere for customers. Moreover, it has applied a brand new approach to store design, which requires Starbucks designers to create distinctively local looks for every store. To make its store locations more attractive, welcoming, and functional, Starbucks puts tremendous time and effort in in-store marketing. For example, the brand started to provide free Wi-Fi in all of its stores in 2002, encouraging customers to stay for longer periods after their purchases and satisfying buyer preferences for continued connectivity. Advertising messaging inside stores will promote new products and loyalty scheme advantages to consumers, driving deeper awareness and growing further demand among current customers. That helps reinforce the brand's customer retention aspirations. Starbucks also leverages the data available from its store locations to accomplish market research objectives, accumulating and analyzing information around customer sales, behaviors, and
and preferences. Starbucks has managed to create a social media culture that every marketing team would be proud of. The company makes sure that they build broad social media platforms that replicate content throughout all channels and interact with their customers. Starbucks generates a wide amount of content but breaks it down into multiple smaller units that are then reused via different platforms. Each social media platform has separate content according to the type of user. The language is very unique, plain, and comfortable. Besides, customers are stimulated to take photos of their Starbucks beverages and coffee shops and upload them on social networks. Starbucks retweets these and utilizes them in campaigns. This enables them to exchange information on deals, referrals, and other Starbucks-relevant events. Their capitalization on social media allows them to establish brand ambassadors for both men and women. Notably, customers are 2.4 times more likely to perceive user-created content as authentic compared to content generated by brands. That boosts trust between the brand and potential customers, motivating higher sales. The brand also joins social media campaigns and competitions every day where it likes, shares, and mentions. This social media marketing strategy belongs to how the general Starbucks appeal approaches beyond the social media storefront. Plus, the company guarantees that customers with issues reporting to the brand on social networks can get instant responses. The way Starbucks speaks to its customers is also one of the main contributing factors to the brand's success in both literal and figurative senses. Literally, every piece of communication is considerate and on-brand. From social media posts to the interaction and transaction in-store, Starbucks has generated a consistent and appealing tone, supporting content and communication with its customers. Nevertheless, the brand doesn't always have the opportunity to speak directly to its customers, so they communicate figuratively instead. The language they choose is just as influential for the brand if it's not direct communication. A typical example of this is in their printed materials. A product description is not direct communication, but the brand can still take advantage of the language. For instance, one of the newer Starbucks endeavors in Starbucks Reserve, a product line of small batch roasted coffees, is already brewed in Seattle and for purchase at some specific locations and online. With every product, Starbucks spends time discussing what makes their options so good by offering a background as to why that coffee was selected for reserve. On both levels, Starbucks has utilized language to generate something that a consumer can identify with. Not every message will be impactful to customers, but the brand can promote itself to a broader market with efficient communication. In a highly competitive industry, that ability is critical to their success. Starbucks has built a loyalty program, encouraging its customers to keep coming back. Named My Starbucks Rewards, little investment is needed to sign up, downloading the app or registering a gift card, and every purchase completed with the account is rewarded. The program is managed by an online account, accessible on both computers and mobile devices. This program supports both card and mobile payments from customers. With few barriers to joining the program, Starbucks has cultivated a following that few companies can attain. The company reached 18.9 million active members across the U.S. in 2020. Furthermore, repeat customers can bring into both implicit and explicit endorsement a broader network to better interact and feedback. As a majority of Starbucks demographics are people who often use mobile devices, the Starbucks mobile app is an appropriate way to purchase products on the go with a mobile phone and pick them up in the store with a little pause. The Starbucks app allows the brand to include all the benefits of a referral program, a loyalty card, and a customer rewards program to the same venue. The more frequently you use, the more deals and free beverages you can receive in your preferred stores. What's more, the app also suggests drinks to customers by analyzing their shopping patterns and search history. It is crucial to note that the ease of using the Starbucks app has been so great since it was released in 2011. In fact, over 20% of all Starbucks transactions are now carried out through the app. Have you ever noticed that Starbucks is one of the most socially conscious companies across the globe? It has also availed of its brand to act as a social activist at local and international levels. Starbucks is LGBT friendly and has created its store as safe havens for people of every preference. A lot of brands are now trying to break this line, but they keep impartial on genuinely divisive topics. Starbucks does donate millions of dollars to refugees and migrants for humanitarian efforts around the world every year. For example, the Syrian crisis of 2015. Starbucks has also invested efforts in the integration of 10,000 military veterans into its workplace, an action that has been highly appreciated across the country. In brief, Starbucks is socially conscious and attempts to influence the nation and the world at large. Starbucks has also been running successful marketing campaigns like the Tweet a Coffee campaign, which allowed customers to pay for a coffee 
for anyone on Twitter by tweeting at TweetACoffee and a friend's handle. By doing this and linking their Starbucks accounts to their Twitter account, a $5 gift card would be given. More than 27,000 users tweeted a coffee. This burst of activity brought in more than $180,000 in sales in just a couple of months. To wrap this all up, Starbucks dominates over half the cafe market in the U.S. and continues to expand worldwide, making it a truly inspirational success story. Yet despite its venti size today, its surprisingly humble origin suggests that the company's secrets to success applies to small business as well. So, will data and AI be enough to keep Starbucks on top, or will these technological advances stray too far from its core strengths? Let us know in the comments what you think of the Starbucks experience.